One of the ways Louisiana's sugarcane industry stays on top is variety. I mean, it's all sugarcane, but varieties developed by the LSU Ag Center, including two new ones, are what give our cane growers a competitive edge. Twyla's Craig Gotro went to the recent sugarcane field day to show us the future of the state's sweetest crop. They are called L12-201 and HO12-615. And while these labels may seem nondescript, they could soon play a big role in Louisiana's $1 billion sugarcane industry. The letters and numbers represent two new sugarcane varieties being released to commercial growers this year. Both of these varieties, 201 and 615, have a high sugar content. 615 is a very good stubbling variety, which is going to allow farmers to plant and keep their crop until a third stubble. Stubbling refers to a crop regrowing after its first harvest. Sugarcane growers typically get three to four crop cycles from their initial planting. New varieties are rigorously tested throughout the sugarcane belt and may take up to 12 years of research and testing before being released. We bring the variety to 12 different locations, heavy and light soil. And I, once they make it that far, that's really the telltale sign if they're going to be able to make it through to that vote and become a commercial variety. Louisiana has seen its acreage increasing on the northern and western fringes of the sugarcane belt. Consistency of yields and price stability have fueled the growth. Sugarcane is also a very resilient crop, so we can take these weather conditions. We don't see a lot of fluctuation in our yields from year to year compared to some crops. Hurricane Barry was a major concern as it approached landfall, but it appears it did not cause any major damage to the crop. We had predicted sugar production statewide at around 1.8 million tons before the storm, and we think that 1.8 million tons is still very attainable even after the storm. Mills are expected to begin grinding the cane early this season because such a large crop is out there. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting. One reason for the price stability you see in sugar are the agreements in place to prevent Mexico from dumping sugar in the United States, which has been a big issue in the past. 